Integrated Math 3 practice test for 10 ready. Question number 15. A researcher wants to find if the behavior of children is affected by playing video games that have violent content. He asked the parents of 100 children in a daycare center how often each child plays video games and whether the video games they play have violent content. The children are then allowed to play in a controlled environment, such as the daycare center's playground. Any violent behaviors are noted. What type of study is the research con researcher conducting? First off, the researcher picked specific people to be in his group. And that's one of the components in the answer here. Another is that he actually engages in um, seeing what they're doing. Like he measures what happens after he collects data, but he doesn't control it. And all of that matters into how things are going. He doesn't ask what's already happened. He's specifically looking for things to happen uh, with sort of a preconceived idea of what he's looking for. So, what type of study is a researcher conducting? Well, it's not a census because he picks a sample of a hundred, he, the parents of a hundred children. So his sample is a hundred kids. A census would be everyone in the population, so he'd have to ask everybody about this. This is not a census. Uh, a sample survey would be doing, uh, I let my kids play this many violent video games, this is what they do. It's almost a self-reporting scenario, so uh, people tell you most of the time it's in like a questionnaire. So this isn't a survey because something actually happened and he watched what they were doing. It wasn't a passive collection of data, he's actively engaged in collection of data. So the real question is, is it an experiment or is it just an observational study? And when I say just an observational study, I don't mean observational studies are somehow less than experiments, it's just not as controlled. The real difference between an observational study and a experiment is that in an experiment you set groups ahead of time uh, and have apply very specific rules to them and essentially you have a control group. You will in an experiment you'll break your sample into different parts and apply specific rules to certain people and then measure what happens and compare those two groups. Usually one of them you keep exactly the same. In this scenario, all that's happening is he takes data separately to see if they have, uh, if they do play video games with any violent content. And man, uh, a daycare center? I hope that that doesn't mean just like little kids. If you're showing a lot of violent content to little kids, that could, I mean, really small kids, that's kind of, that's heavy to deal with. Anyway. But he's not actively engaged in controlling what happened on the front end. He's not saying, hey, parents of these 100 kids, I want you 50 to make your kids play violent video games, and then you 50 not, and then we'll compare them. He doesn't set his, he doesn't stack the deck in a way so he can analyze what's going on. He takes the deck as it comes to him, which makes this officially an observational study and not an experiment. What would he need to do to get all of the, any of these three to work? To make a census, he'd have to have all people, all kids, would be involved. Uh, if he wanted to be an experiment, he'd have to control the, in, uh, the input groups or the groups before he started doing his research. So he defined specifically, you are the ones who represent this, you are the control group who don't watch video games. So he's changing something that wouldn't happen naturally observational study. He's letting things go as they normally would and just kind of taking the results and comparing them and in a sample survey he would uh, almost the uh, difference is he would be less actively involved. He would be collecting data provided to him by the um, sample of people not just he gets questionnaires because he's actually measuring children. He just used their parents as a, a point of getting the survey in. So he's doing an observational study here.